everyone, Shira here. Oh, you want me to take off my sunglasses? Okay. Let's try this again. Hi everyone, Shira here. As promised, this week I'm going to give you a quick review of my first year at Mahon Tal, one of the institutions at the Jerusalem College of Technology. This video, of course, is directed at my regular viewers, but, you know, also at any girl who's interested in Mahon Tal for the future. But just as a disclaimer or whatever, I can only tell you my thoughts, my feelings, my views, my opinions, my experiences of the nursing program specifically, because that's where I was this year. I know nothing about the other programs, but I can always direct you to someone who does. Okay, guys, the sunglasses have to go on, it's just funny. Okay, so let's rewind a little bit back to about a year and a half, two years ago. Um, my first step was wanting to make Aliyah. My second step was finding something to do when I got to Israel. And of course, as I mentioned in like my second video or something, that was school. Um, obviously my first choice in career is something in healthcare. And then I found out that nurses are in demand in Israel. And so behold, I decided to go to nursing school. Actually, that thought process took many months of contemplation. So to find a school, there are many options for nursing schools in Israel. There's Shari Tzedek and Hebrew U in Jerusalem, Laniato in Netanya, and many, many more. Um, for me, the most important prerequisite was I need to finish with a bachelor's degree. Then, of course, I decided I wanted to learn in a more religious environment. So, but then when I was thinking about it, I was also nervous about showing up in a big school and then getting lost among everyone, and it's very hard when you're just new to a country and just not having, you know, support from staff and stuff. And, of course, I also wanted to learn in English. So that cut out Laniato, Shari Tzedek, Hebrew and just about every other nursing school in Israel. So that's when I realized that I had no choice but to learn in Hebrew. So I was like, okay, you know, I can deal with that. And then I heard about Mahon Tal from a few friends who were studying nursing there. Um, it's a four-year program that ends in a BSN, a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. It's a religious school with girls of like all religious levels. And because the school is so small, just about, you know, 200 girls in the nursing program, it is very Ola friendly. The teachers and the administration and the staff are a lot more approachable than in any large campus university that I can imagine. And the Hebrew issue? Well, nursing is a science-based program, and all science books are, that's right, in English. And because all the teachers have either their masters or PhDs, even if they can't speak English perfectly, they can at least understand it perfectly. So, I came to Machontal, and I was not disappointed. My friends were right about like all those things, and then some. The teachers in the nursing program are excellent. They're so kind, they're so approachable, especially the ones who have their own offices. You know, like the head of the nursing program, who is American, and one of the other teachers who is also really high up in the nursing program, who is practically American. Like, they admire us, the Aloha to show, for what we've done, so they try to do anything that's in their power that they can do to make things easier on us. And the administration, well, let's just say that it's an Israeli administration, and every Israeli administration is expected to may have its own personal set of bureaucracy. But whatever bureaucracy I had to deal with, you know, in regards to Mechon Tal, Jerusalem College of Technology, in school, was really not such a big deal, um, at least not big enough to want about on YouTube. As I said, all classes are in Hebrew, and it wasn't really long before I could follow without any problems. Um, to tell you the truth, very often being an English speaker is a pure advantage in my program. Whenever we don't understand a concept in class, we have the freedom to look up a topic on the internet where all the good science material is in English. On top of that, most of our assignments this year were based on nursing and medical textbooks and journal articles, all in English. Okay, okay, there's a substantial amount of reading in Hebrew and all our papers have to be written in Hebrew. And of course, I tend to have to ask for help in those areas. However, I spoke to a girl who was studying nursing in Laniato, in Netanya, and she gets to do all this stuff, you know, reading articles and textbooks and writing papers in English. When I spoke to her at the beginning of the school year, I was pretty J, I'm not gonna lie. But now, now that my first year is basically over, at the end of the day, you tell me whose reading and writing skills are better. One of the best parts about Mokhontel is my class. Yes, I did, and sometimes still do, find them slightly on the immature side and annoying at times. But when it comes down to it, they are, in part, what made this year so great. These girls always offered help and assistance, a place to stay for Shabbos, someone to talk to. I know I hate speaking English to the Israelis. I feel like they won't understand me sufficiently and they take forever to formulate a sensical sentence in English. So I totally, totally applaud those girls who even had the slightest interest in starting up a conversation with me, especially at the beginning of the year when I could barely string a sentence together. I spoke 
so slowly and I had a worse accent than I do right now. Side note, I had my Alia interview with the Jewish agency this week and when the lady giving the interview was reviewing with me the list of benefits I can expect once I make, made Alia, one of those things was a five months free of Ulkan. Um, I told her I didn't think I'd be needing that. I explained to her that I'm already learning in a Hebrew speaking school and aside from not having the time, taking extra classes to learn Hebrew probably won't really make much of a difference for me at this point. Um, so the lady asked if I did Ulpan before starting school because the Jewish agency can't retroactively pay me back for those lessons, whatever. Um, I told her I hadn't done Ulpan ever. And she clarified by asking just to make sure, um, wait, so the teachers teach in Hebrew, the reading is materials in Hebrew, after write essays in Hebrew, exams are in Hebrew. I of course answered yes to all of the above. At this point, the lady puts down her pen and looks at me in disbelief. She couldn't understand how I do it. So, aside from learning Hebrew verb conjugation charts all throughout my elementary and high school career, and also just being good at languages, I strongly, strongly believe that my Hebrew proficiency is, is all due to one of the best decisions I made for this year. Drum roll, please. Living in the dorms. Seriously, people, I'm telling you, from my experience, the only way to improve your knowledge of a language is to live 24-6 with people who speak solely in that language. In school, at home, all week, period. Lots of people asked if this year was harder or easier than learning in New York University last year. Uh, my answer, I don't know. I had a couple of very challenging courses last year, namely calculus and chemistry, but that was like two classes out of four. This semester alone, I had 12 courses, and that does not include my four Kodesh classes, and then, as you know, 15 final exams. Um, last year, I spent most of my spare time studying chemistry and calculus. This year, I spent most of my time sitting in class and going over my notes afterwards, clarifying all the concepts that weren't clear because of the language barrier, especially. Exams, well, I don't know. Last year, if you studied well, you did well. And, and passing period was 51, which wasn't really an issue for me. Um, I guess that was the concept for this year as well. You know, studying well equals doing well. Except that the exams were in Hebrew and the passing grades are 65 and 70. So even though I'm allowed to use a Hebrew English dictionary on, during exams and I get extra time, it really doesn't take away from the fact that you do miss out on all the technicalities of the written word that can sometimes hint towards the correct answer. But I don't know. When it comes down to it, I really have no idea which one was harder. I hope I didn't miss out on anything with my year in review. Next week, I'll give you an update on all my issues that I was having last week. By the way, thanks for your concern. As usual, it means a lot to me to know that you care and that you're not only continuing to watch, but you're always looking out for me. Um, things are figuring themselves out one by one. I'll let you know about that next week. And until then. I got so